is a dodge system. It's a four-way dodge system, so it goes forward, backwards, left, and right. And it's fully replicated. As you can see in the top right, that's our second player for our gas project. Fully replicated. And if I change to that player, you can see we're going forward and backwards. It's also compatible with the third person template, as you can see here. And again, fully replicated in that template too. So, so I've provided all the animations for you, uh, targeted to both the UEFN mannequin and the SK mannequin. So it should be super easy for you to follow on. But as usual, I'll leave an FAQ in the description for any questions and feel free to pop into the discord and ask anything you like. Thank you to our paid members, Dev Daddy Diggs, Imagine Bravery. I love seeing what you guys are up to. And it's a great little community that we are building and loads of people working together. So if you want to be part of it, then jump into the Discord to talk game dev. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy. Peace. Just inside a new project, we're going to start this off in just a normal template. The same rules apply for the game animation sample project. And in the end, I'm going to show you how I move it across to that project. And you can see how that's all implemented and everything as well. So super easy to follow and hopefully understand. And the first thing that we do is import our animations. So go into our dodge animations, select all our dodge animations, and then put them on our mannequin and import all. Now they're all imported. We're going to select them all. So I press the first one, press shift, select all of them, and then asset actions. Edit selection in property matrix and enable the root motion. Save that. Close that. And then come back in. Make sure they're all selected again. Right click and create adding montages. Okay. Next, we're going to right click and get a blueprint class. I type actor component. I'll call this BPC dodge. This is just a component that holds our code, which means I can use this in any sort of project move it quite easily, including any sort of dependencies that we may have, but also I can attach like dodge code to an enemy as well. So that's why this is really useful. So I open up BPC dodge. I don't need the begin play or the event tick. I'm going to right click and get the Q key. Keyboard event Q. And then I'm going to drag off there and get a play montage node. And then we can right click and say get owner. From get owner, we can get component by class. And then we can get the skeletal mesh component. Plug that in here. And we can test this sort of straight away. So if we drop montage to play down to dodge F, then drag this up and dock it so that it's out of the way. So open content draw, open up BP third person character, then we can add the dodge BPC just here. And now when we play, I press Q, I'll do a full dodge roll, but there's a couple of issues here. So the first one is right now, I'm just running around facing the camera. So I'm always going forward, which is fine. But when I've got an enemy in front of me, I'm going to want to go left or right or backwards in sort of a cool dodge and when I I'm not moving I also want to go backwards I'm only ever going to go forward and then the other issue that you see is I can just spam this as much as possible so the first one's an easy fix the spamming we can just from this pressed we can get a branch and then this condition we can drag off here and promote this to a variable Right click to rename it. We'll just call this dodging. That's super easy. Thing to check is in details, make sure you compile it. In details, make sure this isn't true because you don't start dodging. And then make sure the branch is false to play montage. So you can press control and move it around. Grab dodging, drag it out, get set, and tick it. Because if we're not dodging, we're going to be dodging. And then on completed, we can set dodging and uninterrupted and set dodging to false to reset it. So that fixes our 
spamming issue. I now can't dodge until I finished that dodge. So the next thing that we are going to want to fix is the direction. Okay. So I'm going to open this up on the content drawer. I'm going to right click and type in enum numeration and the E dodge direction. We want to call this and we want five. So the first one is going to be non. The second one is going to be forward and then back and left and then right. Okay. We'll go BPC dodge and I'm going to add that variable to here. So we're going to add a variable and type in dodge direction and then rename that to be dodge direction, an original variable. Drag off from this montage, we're going to get a select node and then dodge direction is going to go in here. So non, I'm going to want it to roll backwards. So if I'm not moving forwards and then forwards, dodge F, back, dodge B, left, dodge L and right, dodge R, obviously. But currently this will be non, so we'll always be dodging backwards because we're not telling it what to do at the moment. So this is where it gets to be a little bit, a little bit complicated. From this queue, we're going to delete that. And we're going to right click and get a custom event. So add custom event. This will be dodge. And then we're going to, after this dodging branch, here from this false, I'm going to get a compare float node and the input I'm going to put into this input here. And this will be for our left, right. So if we select dodge custom event, we can do left and right. And then I'm going to set this dodge direction. I'm going to set this three times. connect it all three times the top one will be right the middle one is going to be non and the other one will be left and then we're going to put that into another compare float node so connect those three together and the input here will go into the start again so in, the, in this dodge event and this will be forward and back. And then we'll get this dodge direction. This time we only want to set it twice. So duplicate that back here. And the top one is going to be our forward direction and the bottom one is going to be our back direction. And then we're going to connect these up to the dodging, including this middle one as well. Now, what this is, is if we are pressing left, right, we'll get a minus one or a one, depending on what our value is. So if it's a one, then we're moving in the right direction. And if it's a minus one, we're moving in the left direction. And if we aren't moving left or right, it's going to be zero. If we, the same applies to forward and back. So if we are not moving, if we are moving on the one dodge forward, if we're moving in the minus one dodge back, if we're not moving at all, it's already set to none. So we don't need to reset it on here. Okay. And we want the, forward and back values to overwrite these left and right values. So that's the dodge direction. Now we need two more custom events, a custom event. This is the server 
play montage. So then we need to come to our details and we need to make this run on server and tick that it's reliable. And then we also need a input of our anim montage. And this is the montage to play. And then we can duplicate that, control D, to duplicate it, except this one will be called our multi-cast montage. And again, this needs to be multicast and it needs to be reliable. Now, from server play montage, we're just going to call this multicast montage. And we'll connect that montage to play. So this will play on the owning server and this will play on all the other servers. And then from dodging, I'm going to call server play montage. This select will now go into here. And then these four nodes here, press control X and put them on this multicast and connect the montage to play to the montage to play. Okay. So now in BP third person character, we can get our Q event again. So Q and we can get BPC dodge and we can call the dodge event. Now we need the left and right. So I can get IA move, which is an input action. I move. You want this little windowed version here. We can right click to split this. And now we've got the X and the Y. So the X goes in left and right, and the Y goes in forward and back. And now if I play this, press Q, I forward. And if I'm not moving, I go backwards. But there's no left and right on here. We need to do another branch off this false. And we're going to right click and get owner. And then get component by class. And this time we want the movement component, the character movement component. And from here, we want to check if we are using controller desired rotation. And if we're not, then we want to get this dodge direction and set it. Move this out of the way. And from here, we want to get a select node. And then I want to check the velocity. So I want to get the owner. And then get velocity. We want to get the vector length and this will tell us how fast uh, the character is moving. So if they're moving forward or not, and if it's equal to zero, then I want to do nothing. So if it's equal to zero and true, we do none, which will be our backwards roll. And if it's not, then we do our forwards roll. And this goes directly into our dodging montage just here. So we compile that. And now when I'm running forward, I do that. And if I'm running to the left, I go forward because I'm not strafing and backwards the same. And if I'm not moving, I go backwards. So let's do a quick uh, change so that we start strafing. So you can see that it's working for that. So I'm going to get the eight key, the key eight. I'm going to get character movement and we're going to do set controller, set use controller desired rotation and then set orient rotation to movement. I'm going to tick one to be true and leave the other one to be false. So Use control desired rotation is false and orient rotation to movement will be true. Go back to third person character. I'm going to press the eight key. I'm going to swap those round. 
So yeah, use control desired rotation is true. Orient rotation to movement will be false. So we use the eight key and now you can see we're strafing. So now if I press forward and do Q, it goes that way. And if I press left and do Q, it goes and does a different roll. Go backwards, a whole different roll. Don't move, different roll again. Let's test the replication. So we'll come to number of players, select two players listen server. Press play. And see the character. Backwards roll, forwards roll. Press eight to change it. And then sideways rolls. As well, swap to the other one, the client. And it's working for both. Okay, so now we have our dodge component. Let's right click it and let's take it over to a gas project. So we're going to go asset actions and we're going to migrate it across. Save that. Don't need any of these characters. Uh, I need the dodge, all the montages, and we don't need the input action because that's already existing. So just all of this dodge stuff. Click OK, and I'll find a game animation sample project. And we'll place it inside here. Then I want to find the dodge system. That's placed it in the third person character blueprints. Here's our dodge all set up. There's a couple of bits we need to do. I need to retarget these to the new mannequin. So I'm going to right click retarget animations. Go to the UAFN skeleton. And type in dodge. And then all of these, I'm going to export them. And all of these should now be retargeted to our skeleton. Yeah. And then inside BPC Dodge, just need to change them to the new montages. And then finally, inside our sandbox character, <clears throat> we'll add the dodge component and we'll right tick, get the Q event that we've been using. And then inside BPC dodge, we'll just get dodge and we'll get IA move the final thing and we should have if I press Q that's backwards because I wasn't moving forwards and left and right all working and indeed on The sample project for multiplayer as well and then if i press the middle button which switches to the strafe or not strafe this all works as intended as well and then switch to the other character there we go so that's a full replicated dodge animations provided how to do it in both normal projects and in game animation sample project and i hope you found that useful thank you very much